taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lights here, we're back with another video, guys. So, we're going to talk about refund do an update on this particular project. Okay, guys, I've been shifting around certain meme coins that I'm in. Okay, and um, you know, meme coins have taken a little bit of a beating, or should I say, a lot of a beating? Okay, we got the huge Pepe run, and um, you know, that sent the meme coin space into a frenzy to the upside. Okay, and refund token when this came out, super bullish on this project, and I am still bullish on this project, which is why I've been DC8 uh, dollar cost averaging into this token on the way down. Okay, guys, and uh, we did get a nice little bit of a green move uh overnight for me um last night okay so we're starting to see um yeah i mean this looked like you know a a it looked like it could have went down further okay guys i actually bought down here and uh, we've got a nice little bounce okay now we're not out of the woods of course uh, but i wanted to make this update because there's still bullish things to consider about this project okay fundamentally all right if you look at the uh if you look at the um the background of the developer who created this project, okay, Blur.eth, all right, guys, he is a, you know, uh, he's the crypto punk owner of, um, um, he owns uh, this particular crypto punk, which is being used as the logo, okay, um, when you go to his D-Bank, he's got a huge portfolio, this is just one of his wallets, he's meant to be worth billions of dollars, okay, guys, this particular wallet is worth 23, almost 24 million dollars, okay and um this is uh basically the reference point of the developer on this particular project so that of course is something that's got people bullish this guy's got a reputation in the space i believe his crypto punk um was acquired for something like half a billion dollars okay guys um not only that but if you remember when this token actually launched okay why well, i don't believe that this is going to zero okay and um, when this token launched it's uh it just got listed on a bunch of exchanges out of nowhere right everyone was rushing to list this token which means or means to me that this person has connections in the space or people are familiar with this particular person one of the things we're looking for in this space are reputable devs people that we can trust in putting our money into their project and we're not going to get rug pulled or we're not going to get scammed or somebody is not going to just dump the token or you know just you know just destroy the project okay once it gets going all right guys so if we come over to coin market cap you'll see that this is listed on a bunch of exchanges okay and i'm going to assume these are not paid listings because of the speed in which they came through okay guys so we're looking at uh obviously uniswap you got qcoin okay now a lot of projects they take a lot a long time just to get onto qcoin qcoin listed this in a heartbeat right gate.io BitGet, L Bank, MEXC Exchange, Ascendex, BKEX, Bitmart, you you name it. You can see all of these exchanges down here. Of course, no tier one exchange, no Binance, no Coinbase or anything like that. But is there potential for that to happen? Um, I believe there is potentially for this token. Okay. Um, when you look at the market cap, so the market cap at the moment is sitting at 15.4 million. This actually hit a hundred million within a few days when it first launched okay so it's had a huge pullback uh which i see as a buying opportunity okay i could have sold the top i didn't sell the top okay um i'm still holding this token like i said i mean adding to my bag adding to my bag on this particular token because i believe in the fundamentals i believe in the project the community is growing there's twitter spaces there's uh, they're creating a whole new discord actually if we go to um um this is the most recent spaces which was held uh this morning okay um with your pop um someone i recommend you follow if you're bullish on refund but um they are creating a discord okay this is going to be the main place for um for us to kind of you know talk about the project rather than on uh, telegram a uh, telegram can be a lot a, a bit scammy okay it can be a bit moon boyish um so discord is where it's going to be i don't believe it's been opened yet um but the telegram group is changed to an announcements channel only which is why you can't send any messages in here anymore okay guys you can still see the uh the buyers coming in and again huge buyers coming in on this project all the time 15k uh, 9k okay uh 8k 
you know, a lot of whales are aping in to this project. Look, 45k. Um, crazy, guys. So, you know, there's still big money coming into this project. One of the reasons, which I talked about before, is liquidity. Okay, so liquidity, 7 million. Even after this huge downside, right? So just imagine, if the price gets back to all-time high, what's the liquidity going to be? Okay, guys, so... You know, there's still a lot of fundamental strong points to this project. Market cap at 15.3 billion down from 100 million. If this can go past 100 million in its next move to the upside, if it has another move to the upside, um, you know, I think it's going to smash that. Okay, guys, I see another 10x, 20x potentially out of this project and even more. Okay, guys, a lot of people are speculating this could flip Pepe. Okay, guys, now obviously Pepe is a lot larger in market cap at the time of recording this video um but for comparison's sake if we look at pepe right so pepe is at 396 million now down from about 1.6 billion okay so it's not just refund has gone down okay guys all of the meme all of the meme coins have taken a beating just like i said all right guys but once pepe starts moving things like refund are going to start moving you know, Shiba Inu, you know, Dogecoin, once meme coins start moving again, we're going to see these strong, these fundamentally strong projects like Refund, RFD, get some upside with that. Okay, guys, so I remain bullish on this token and, um, you know, I recommend, that um, you know, doing your own research, obviously looking into this coin as a potential candidate for your long-term bag or even short to mid-term okay i still believe we're going to get the short-term gains we're going to get mid-term games uh gains okay but um in the long term by the end of the bull run i don't know where this could be but i expect it to be a much higher price than where it is at now and this you know anyone who's smart in crypto they don't want to be buying up here okay they're going to see this chart and they're going to look at it like yo this is a buying opportunity. This is where I want to be accumulating this token. It could come down even further. Oh, it could start to go sideways. Okay, guys, the longer this goes sideways, the more accumulation potential there is. And I think eventually we're going to break out and we're going to see a strong move to the upside, even if it's just a double top right from here. Even if it's just a double top, you got from here back to all time high. We're looking at about 8x. Okay, about a 6x from here. If it was last night, it would have been about an 8x. Okay, guys, let's just uh, measure from there. Yeah, about 8 or 9x. Okay, guys, so this is just how quickly things can move. Okay, that's how quickly things can turn around in crypto. And um, yeah, refund, still bullish on this project, like I said. Still going to uh, still gonna keep talking about this project. All right, guys, so just wanted to give you this update. Um, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Like and comment down below, tick the little bell for notifications and I'll see you in the next video.